Hi, Giza. Hi. You've been sailing. Oh, what tipped you off? <laughs> When was this arranged? Uh, last Sunday at lunch. What? Well, Uncle Callum and I have always loved sailing. Uncle? Hmm. Bullshit. <laughs> if you could see your face right now, fuck you'd laugh. Adam Giza. What do you make of this geezer thing? Yeah, it's really catching on. Listen, uh, I know Marcus is your nephew. Yeah. I mean, I know it doesn't mean anything in work terms. I've known you long enough. We've worked together long enough to know that it's all about the best man for the job with you. You're that sort of guy. Well, then you probably slightly misread me. What? If Marcus was an idiot, you're right, I wouldn't have him here. But he's not. He's bright. Bright as you, almost. So, blood, water, all that. You're gonna give him the account? Yeah. That is so... You're a tough kid. You'll make it no matter what. A few low blows won't do you any harm. Really? So you won't mind if I hit you in the balls, then? Kidding, Geezer. Kidding. <laughs> Hello? Yes, of course. I'll be there in a minute. Morning, Ellen. Morning. Tony? Take a seat. The workplace is a society, Nikki. Interlocking parts. An overall objective being sought after by a unified workforce. The respect that needs to be shown in interpersonal behaviour is, in a sense, to be as impersonal as possible. I couldn't agree more. Well, then perhaps you'd like to explain your perception of the interaction between you and Tony yesterday. I'm sorry? The way you were speaking to him. What? That was just banter. <laughs> right, Tony? Uh, just speak to me for a minute. We have a relationship. No, we don't. You think you're in a relationship with him? No. No, I mean, we flirt a little. That's all. Right, Tony? We're buddies. Sorry, bad choice of words. Which seems to be a problem for you. Choosing your words badly. It was harmless. Nikki, the workplace is a special environment. We take a dim view of sexual harassment here at FinCorp. I wasn't. You mean... You can consider this a warning. And you can thank Tony that you still have a job here. Now, you'd better get back to your desk. I'm sure the calls are backing up. get the job? I just got a written warning for sexually harassing the guy. You're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? No. Nice advice. I thought you'd be subtle about it. You obviously went too far. The office environment is a special environment. Oh, shut up. Personal space is important. Refrain from comments such as, your dick looks big in those pants, or that's my uncle. He runs the place, and I'm on a fucking yacht ride to the top. Marcus. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> For the fifth time, you slept on the couch. <laughs> okay. Don't say it like that. Okay. I mean it. Okay. Look, I can't talk to you if you're going to be like this. Okay. Stop it! Something bugging you, Cal? I've got to do something. Making a fresh start. It should be easy. Just admit you made a mistake and move on. And I can do it. I will do it. Maybe sometime tomorrow. I just wanted to uh, clear the air about that situation we had. You've got gorgeous skin. Tonight we're going out, and you, Stuart Woodcock, are going to have sex. It's the most impersonal and unromantic gift on the planet. He's a pepper grinder, Nick. I don't want to spend the rest of my life with a kitchen utensil. You single? Don't take any notice of her. She's not a normal woman. I can be nice. Go. I didn't say I could be nice to you. Before you freak out, open it. 